Hello everyone, this is Aaron again. I uh, wanted to do a little bit different uh, video for you today. I want to talk about some things that I would like to, uh, uh, that have served me very well, things I really, really love. And I uh, just want to share them with you because you might like them too. And, and if so, uh, hopefully you can go out and get them. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any of this, as you know. I buy stuff. If it doesn't work, I don't say much about it. If it does work, I try to give a shout out to it. So today, before I get into this, let me just say that I have finally got in all my parts for upgrading, upgrading the uh, P15.25 that I did a video on a short time ago. So I got some, some nice items uh, from uh, Darko, Delaco. Uh, got some wonderful things from... Um, Jake Bowman, and also uh, a shroud from Air Effective Tuning, and um, I want to be able to uh, to do a full video on that uh, for you next time. But I'm also working on a pesting video that we have actually done the pesting, and I'm trying, I'm trying to, uh, of course, uh, edit all the shots and get everything together and make that video too. So hopefully those two videos will be coming up next. But for right now, I do want to talk about two items that I have uh, that are just wonderful. And I'm going to tell you what they are first, and then I'm going to do close-up of them and tell you why I think they're so great. Okay. Uh, the first one is this uh, gun vise. This thing here, I'll get into it in a minute. You can see the name right here. Take a quick look at it because I don't have it on my side. This is the Caldwell Shooting Suppliers. And this is their precision turret shooting rest. And I'm telling you, this thing here is wonderful. And I'll demonstrate that to you in a minute. It's so stable, so heavy, vices the gun well. Uh, it's going to help you zero your gun in no time. The other one is my target here. I've, I've had this target now for at least, I'm thinking, four to five years. And it's probably one of the best targets I've ever had. And I'm going to talk to you about that in a moment. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's start out with the target and then let's go to the, uh, the precision turret here and tell you uh, the features of it and why I think I'm so high on those things and, and see if you like them too. So uh, let me uh, move things about and show you some close-ups. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is this target. And uh, I'm going to apologize right now about this review I'm about to do because I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to bother uh, some of you guys out there in terms of my uh, information on where to get it. But let me just talk about it for a second here. Uh, it's made of a wrought iron. This thing can take a 22 caliber rim fire um, at hit, hit in any area. Uh, but let me just talk about the setup. Okay, I like to move this thing about, but it comes with these two iron legs that can be forced into the ground. But as you can see, what I did down here is I got in two two by fours and I have uh, actually drill holes in it, forced them in there so that this thing, so I could take this thing anywhere I want to take it to use it, set it down and shoot at it. Uh, but it's, it's really, really made well. It's really, uh, like I said, it could take a 22, actually they might even take a 25 caliber any place too. But I can tell you this, in a pellet gun, I think it'll take a 25. I've shot it with my 25 with no problems. So I just wanted to show you the base and the overall size of it. It probably stands about maybe two feet tall off of the ground. Let me zoom in on it and talk to you a little bit about how this thing works. Okay, this is how I use this thing, okay? Um, you can use it for sighting in and that sort of thing, but I usually sight my gun in on paper. I set this thing out at um, 30 yards, and I like to get another one to set out at, set out at 40 yards, if I could ever find one. Uh, and that's why I'm kind of enlisting, uh, enlisting your support uh, and, uh, uh, and your assistant perhaps in finding this. But tell you how I came about with this thing. I was watching, a, 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 I don't know if it was a, actually air guns or, or 22s, and a guy was shooting at this thing. And, uh, and I was watching him and I said, wow, that's a great invention. Whoever came up with that is one of the smartest people in the world. I gotta have it. And I'm gonna tell you, I, I looked on eBay, I looked on uh, Amazon, I looked everywhere. I typed in everything I could on the searches, and I finally found it. It was being sold by the guy who actually manufactured it. It was not in stores at the time that I got it in the way. So I purchased directly from him. I think it was $39, and I had this thing for over five years, and it's been outside 
for five years. Uh, I've never brought it inside. It's been there through the winters and the summers and back to the winters again. So this thing is here is really, really built well. So uh, hopefully you'll type in, I don't know, swinging, uh, swinging target, iron targets, all that, and you'll be able to find it the way I did five years ago. Uh, and at that time, I was, I wouldn't, I was uh, not quite into PCPs yet, so I was actually shooting at this thing uh, with, my, uh, with my springers. But let me just show you quickly how it works. This is what's the wonderful thing about it. Okay, once I get my gun zoomed in, I shoot at this to see how well I'm shooting. My gun's already zoomed. How well am I shooting now? I should be able to hit this uh, nickel-sized target at 30 yards. And every now and then, and this is the nice thing about it, when you shoot and you miss, this thing is going to show you where you missed. If you hit in this quadrant, that thing is going to swing back and forth. You'll know, wow, I hit lower left. If it swings just a little bit, belly hits about here, it's just going to do that. If you hit it way up here, it, it's going it's to actually swing quite a bit. So you're going to know where you're hitting. Okay, Same thing here. If you hit up here, it's going to swing. But that over here is actually going to flip. The top ones are going to flip. If you, if you miss hit it, it's going to flip. Okay, Over here, it's going to rock. Because it's got a heavy weight to bring this thing back to position. So you cannot hit it hard enough to make it flip all the way over. But it will do that. And when you hit the middle, which I love to do, that's what you're going to get. Okay? So I want another one of these to set out at 40 yards. I can actually shoot 40 yards. I like to have one of these for 30 and one for 40. Just to practice with. It's a great practicing thing. You shoot, you know exactly where you missed it at. As soon as you shoot, you know exactly where you missed it at. And that's going to, and you may say, oh, I missed that left. I missed that light. It's a great teaching tool and uh, it's a great reward tool when you see that thing doing, when you see that thing spinning like that. So, again, I paid $39 for it five years ago. It's been outside for five years. I saw it today. I repainted it because it was all rusty. I still shoot at it rusty uh, because at 30 yards, I can still see this and, and see how I'm shooting. So, uh, you got to do like I did. I did a search for it. I finally found it. I purchased it, and I got it. And uh, if you do, I'm not going to look for it now because I really don't, don't actually need it. But if I find it, I'm going to buy another one for 40 yards. So uh, don't ask me the links, don't ask me where I got it, don't ask me anything. I, I remember I got it, and a uh, guy was selling himself, uh, and that's all I remember. I only came to you what country it came from. It might have been the United States, it might have been the Ukraine, it might have been the uh, uh, United Kingdom. I don't know where it came from. But I was fortunate enough to find it, and I've had it for five years, and I love it. So that's my practice, that's my practice target. Uh, you could use it for sighting in. Uh, but I like to use it for how well am I shooting? And I tell you, and that tells you, shooting has its days. Let me just throw this in. Shooting has its days. There are days I can come out here and I can, and at 30 yards, I'll spin this thing with all four of my guns every shot. I'll come out other days, I'm hitting in this quadrant, and I'm hitting in this quadrant, then I, I don't want to adjust the scope because I know the gun is good. It's me. And then every now and then I'll get a bullseye, and then I hit in this quadrant, and it's all on you. It could be a flyer too. Anyway, this thing, I'll turn it to the side. This thing here is made of wrought iron, okay? This thing is heavy. It probably weighs, I don't know, four or five pounds with the wood there. And it can take a shot. Made out of very, very good, very, very strong materials. So I wanted to throw that out. You know, I was just thinking, you know, I let's go outside and use this stuff. Let's go outside and, uh, and shoot at the target a few times and, uh, and shoot from the... Uh, and shoot from the uh, the vise and see how the two of them work together in terms of accuracy. So we're gonna take this thing out to 30 uh, to 30 yards and we're gonna shoot it five or six times and so you can see how it operates and why I like it so much and also so you can see the steadiness of this uh, of this vise and I think it's just so great. So let's go shoot it and then come back in.
Well, I hope that little demonstration of uh, how this thing operates and how much fun it can be. You know, I've seen these targets before, you know, and I've seen them by squirrels and different kinds of animals and stuff, but when you shoot, you may have to see where you're hitting, especially as you get a longer yardage. But with this, you know, the reward is, hey, I hit the center because it's spent, or I hit the upper left or right, or lower right or upper left. You can tell right away uh, where it's hitting at. And I hope you saw the accuracy of this uh, bench rest. It holds the gun so steady. Uh, I think this thing here is probably the size of maybe a quarter nickel. I'm not sure. I have a coin with me now. And it's just a great thing to, uh, to have the plank in the backyard. Now, I will say that the, uh, and you probably heard the impact uh, on the camera, that when it hits, it makes a, it makes a little bit of a tink noise. Uh, but it, uh, no one would associate that with a, with a gunshot. Uh, my neighbors across the street were out. And the whole time I was shooting, and uh, they probably heard a tink, but they didn't know what it was about. So, okay, we're back uh, with the Caldwell Precision Turret Shooting Rest, and I'm telling you, I've had a lot of rests. I've given them, I've given them to friends. Uh, I've uh, given a couple to uh, uh, to Salvation Army and Goodwill, and the one that this one replaced, I still have outside. Uh, it was a Kind of expensive, so I think I'm going to try to sell it at a garage sale or something. But this thing here is wonderful. Let me just show you your features of it first. Uh, in order to do that, let me just grab a gun. In this particular case, uh, this one seems to be the closest. So we'll use it. First of all, before I put that on, let me just show you. It has three lockdown features. And I was going to show it with the gun, but it's easy to show it without it. Okay. It has the swivel, and then it has, and that's, that's, that could be locked down over here by a screw. And then you have the, I'll loosen this, you can actually, once you adjust your gun to it, you can actually put this thing so that your gun is level within the platform itself. And I like that because once you get that thing level, you can lock it down, and it's not going anywhere. Lock it down. Lock this down over here. This is why I think you can really, really set your guns well. Lock this down. That thing is not moving. Now the second part, I got to turn it towards you in order to show you the second feature, the third feature rather that I love so much about this thing. Right here, it will open and close on any size gun you have, so it will lock onto that thing. Once it's locked onto it, it's not moving. You just pull the trigger, and wherever that pellet hits, unless you have a flyer, wherever that pellet hits, that is where your scope is. You make your scope adjustment, you fire another one, you look through it, you fire another one, and you make it, you can just finite it down just like that. Because if you have this, now a lot of times I'm shooting on my deck, and on the deck I have a, a sitting shooting platform where it's all one. So the thing's a little bit shaky. But when I go to the range, this thing is locked. That that that, that toss here is there. Boom. Locked in. Okay, so that that will lock that down. Now back here, on the back of the gun, you have the fourth adjustment, which raises and lowers this particular piece. So you got a, you got a wheel here, and as you turn that wheel, it lowers it, as you can see, and then it can raise it up. So if, I'm, if I have, if I have my gun and I put it in here and I lock it down, get it up, get it stripping down, lock it down. Now from here, I can actually start to raise this gun to the position I need it just by raising this. And then once that's locked in place, I mean, when everything is locked down, and uh, let me pan this thing out so you can see this a little better. Okay, now as you can see uh, with this thing, the um, now... As you can see, what I could do with just this here is I already have, I have it locked, so it's not going to cant on me, okay? I have it locked, it's not going to swivel on me. I have it locked in the position to hold the gun tightly, and now all I need to do is make this adjustment here. I can drop the gun down, and as you can see, the gun will be raising up, or I can raise the gun up. And, and you can also adjust it by just taking it back on here, tighten it down again, and here it is. And once it's locked on and everything is locked, 
you go over here, put your hand on you, take a shot, boom. Wherever it hits, now you can take this and you can make your adjustments. If you don't move, you can make your adjustment, move that to the hitting area, and boom, and you can lock your gun in exactly on the target uh, in terms of uh, precision shooting. Now, once you get the thing locked in and you got your pellet on pellet, basically at 30, you got one hole. Now you can take it off here and see how well you shoot. Okay? So, that's the, those are the two things I wanted to tell you about today. Let me adjust the camera and uh, we'll do a closing here. Oh, before I do the closing on this thing, I got to show you one more feature. As we see it, uh, and we'll go back over those real quickly and I'll show you the fifth feature. Okay? We have this that stops the swivel. I mean, I'm sorry. We have the uh, lock over here to stop the swivel. Over here uh, uh, is your up and down. Right here, you tighten it up with. Back here, you raise and lower the gun butt. And there's one other one. Uh, in case you need to get this thing up a little bit higher, it has a uh, it had a fifth feature. In the front, you can uh, you can untighten this, push that forward, and it's gonna ra it's gonna raise the front end from there. To there, you can get it up higher if you need to, and no matter, and no matter how high you get it, you can always unscrew this screw and keep it can keep it level. Even as you pull that out to get that extra height, you can still level it off. I just think that uh, I got this thing on eBay. Uh, I think it was uh, $119, if I'm guessing correctly. Um, $119 free shipping. To me, I've had three or four call wells. I had a number of other ones. Uh, I've had sandbags. I've had all kinds of stuff. To me, this is the best one that I've ever had, and uh, that's why I wanted to tell you guys about it to see if it's something you might be interested in. So now let's uh, let's move the uh, camera back and do a closing on this. Okay, I just uh, again I just wanted to share with you uh, as I always do. Anything that I find that I think is great, uh, or works really really well, and it's a great value for the money. I try to bring it. I try to bring it to you and and, and, and let you do an assessment of uh, whether or not it's something uh, that you want. Now I will share with you one other thing. When I got this, this I thought it was a little bit too high for me, and I was trying to figure out how to lower it. And how, what I came up with was this. I actually took this screw apart and uh, put a shim in here that made this this leg go out a little bit more and it dropped it down a little bit. Drop it down maybe an uh, inch, inch and a half. And now it's, it's perfect for me. So if you find it a little bit high, you can actually shim this back here uh, and, uh, and get that get this leg to come up a little bit more and drop it down a couple of inches if you find that to be the case. So um, with that, again, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank all my subscribers out there. I want to thank you guys who always comment. I want to thank you all, all you guys for your advice. Uh, I want you guys to know out there, and do me a favor, because one of the things I try to do, I really try to do, is if it looks like you have a page, and I, usually I can tell that because you, you, you'll have a picture uh, up there, or you have a name that, that uh, suggests that you may have a, uh, that you may have a, web, um, a channel. I want to go and I want to I want to I want to watch your stuff, okay? All the ones that uh, that pop up there, and I say, oh, this guy sounds like he had a channel. I'll go over and I try to watch as many of your videos as I can. Before I comment back to you, so if you have a, if you have a web if you have a page, I don't automatically know that. I try to look for it. If you if you have a, if you have a channel, like he said, kind of page. If uh, if you have a channel, just just type in so and so and so and so, uh, and and I have a channel. I'll click on your I'll click on your icon and I'll go there and I'll be able to see what it is you're posting. I want I, I want to see your stuff just like. Uh, uh, I want you to see mine. So let's share that. If you have a page, I don't care if it has one video on it. Let me know. I'd like to see it. Or if it has 50, I'll go in and pick out the ones I think are interested in me, and I will watch them, and, uh, and I'll think I'll enjoy that. So thank you. Let's keep it safe. And uh, I think I'll have that video ready for you by next week. Have a good one.